Hello Linux fans, Rob here and I definitely was not planning on uh, posting this video this evening. Uh, planned on enjoying a, uh, a nice evening watching a movie or hanging out with uh, the family and uh, lo and behold here we are. Uh, just briefly I was planning or trying to install a, another distribution on my test system uh, called KAOS and uh, it's a KD, it revolves around KDE environment and everything. Multiple tries uh, with failure on the install, decided to try it on my daily driver system which was running uh, KDE Neon very successfully I might add and um, was going to install that alongside and, and be able to do the review that way. So through the Calamares installer I received an error message and went to a uh, reboot and was presented with invalid partition which totally blows but um, anyway decided to take this opportunity I also had uh, Manjaro on my list and decided to go ahead and wi just uh, wipe out the hard drive and install this from scratch the wonderful thing about Linux is within about 15 or 20 minutes you can have a, an OS installed and, and running and uh, if you know where all your software is and know where to go for everything really in a half hour you could be up and running pretty much 90% uh, or 100% so uh, with that all said uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and look around Manjaro 160601 with the default XFCE desktop uh, running now I want to go ahead and just preface this with in the past I've had problems trying or installing um, Arch-based distros. In this case, I installed using, uh, I think it's pronounced Thunar or a Thunar. Um, the install was very fast, I mean under 15 minutes. And then the boot time, again, kind of blew me away. I'm gonna say, uh, just a mental count, I'm gonna say it was under 15 seconds, maybe, maybe 12 to 15 seconds just you know very impressive and um, also want to throw out I don't have a lot of experience with XFCE I've you know messed with GNOME over the years I've messed with KDE um, deep in desktop um, what else uh, several others but for whatever reason I just haven't spent much time with XFCE interface and and wow so far I, I I see what all the hubbub's about. Um, the speed. Um, I was able to install everything that uh, that I need. Uh, I, in my last video, I mentioned I've been using uh, Kmail again as opposed to um, Evolution or Thunderbird. Installed that without issue. Uh, in sync for my uh, Google Drive. Uh, I was able to install that quickly, and and it's syncing and running fine and uh, so wow uh, pleasant surprise the interface is is fast and I know that arch based systems are just inherently fast and and um, but really pleasant surprise so I want to step through some things um, and I've themed this somewhat I put in a new set of icons here and uh, change the theme a little and so we'll go ahead and step through this one of the things that I did out of the box too, and let's just go ahead and jump into that, um, is I had a pop-up for um, a new kernel. So I clicked on the pop-up. Let me just go ahead and go into this. Clicked on the pop-up and was presented with um, a list of kernels to choose from. And to my surprise, the latest Linux kernel, which is 4.7, was available. So installed that, uh, did a reboot, and so far everything is, is smooth, uh, but, but nicely done. So that tells me that the Manjaro uh, slash Arch group, uh, they're on top of things. Also this is a rolling release, so you can continually update to, to run the latest software. Good and bad there, but um, the uh, having that Linux kernel available, the latest Linux kernel ava available was certainly good. Also in the, I believe it's Pac-Man that they are using for 
package management and update manager. Uh, initially uh, I had updates of about 360 files and I want to talk about that just a minute. In the past I had read through forums that um, you really needed to on Mar Manjaro you needed to add mirrors so otherwise you would have slow updates and that kind of thing and so what I found here was on the uh, Manjaro wiki which is just nicely done I mean if you go into the forums in their wiki uh, lots of support there but anyway found this uh, sudo pacman uh, dash mirrors uh, dash g and uh, went ahead and ran that through terminal uh, did a kind of a refresh on the repositories for the uh, mirrors and then installed the update which I'm going to say again 360 updates which installed in I want to say seven minutes roughly so uh, fast enough impressed with that and um, you know really I'm surprised and I'm sure some of this is that it's it's new this interface is new but the speed I mean I'm just and again I found uh, KDE Neon to be fast with Plasma 5 found that to be very fast and fluid but uh, this is impressive and I'm sure there are many of you out there who've been running Manjaro for some time kind of laughing at me right now and I'll fumble and, and not really be able to find my way around to everything but I do want to step through and point out things that were are new to me and if you've never looked at Manjaro uh, with the default desktop this will be new to you so we'll go ahead and, and just step through some of that so here is your menu launcher and just right away let's start with the top where it lists the user and then you have also settings so immediately you can launch right into settings lock screen switch users and log out so fairly intuitive this is an adjustable bar or a menu bar if you will and I went in and adjusted some of the other settings here and let's just kind of step into that um, I turned off show application descriptions We'll turn that back on just to give you an idea of what that looks like. And so here you have, as it says, a description of, of what the programs are. It took me a little while. This is, to me, it feels backwards. So I feel like I should have this particular category list on the left and then my menu choices on the right. So that may take some time to get used to. That's, a, that's one of the differences. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. To me it looked a little cleaner to turn off the application descriptions. So, And then I changed the icons to be a little smaller. So I'm going to close that out. Also installed the icon pack here and did a little tweaking with the fonts. Um, I have this connected to an external monitor. And oh, I've got to talk about that. So when I plugged in the monitor, the nicest monitor configuration pop-up uh, that, that I've seen so far in a Linux di distribution popped up with very easy to understand settings for my external monitor and um, so I was super impressed with that surprised and impressed um, let's go into overall settings here so you'll see again on the left well, perhaps I thought I turned that off. Yeah, okay, so there you don't have description. Um, actually, I'm going to back up here just a minute. We're going to start with uh, installed programs. So, pretty intuitive list uh, here. Uh, pretty good list of software installed for someone who, out of the box, wants to set this up. Um, Adobe Flash Player was installed. Um, the audio mixer is very nice. Uh, let's go through here. I installed Chromium. The default uh, browser was Firefox. Uh, there's a cloud storage manager here. I haven't gotten into that or set anything up there. I use NSYNC for Google uh, Apps uh, synchronization. Uh, I installed Compiz config settings. And let's see, let's scroll on down. File manager. I probably should do this by category here again feeling my way around I installed KML 
Um, you've got an internet messenger there and Steam and Thunderbird pre-installed. Under multimedia, again, audio mixer. I am not at all familiar with this music player. We'll have to check that out. And then I installed Simple Screen Recorder, uh, XF Burn pre-installed, and VLC Media Player uh, pre-installed. Under Office, you have LibreOffice, the full suite. And then there were a few things here with uh, calendar setting and time. And again, I'll have to check out Cloud Storage Manager to see what that's about. And let's go to Graphics, where you have GIMP and uh, LibreDraw and Vuenor. I'm not familiar with that. Let's just check that. Okay, it looks very simple. Very simple and clean. Um, so again, a, a, a nice list of software uh, under accessories. Let's look at that. So you have a bulk rename. Uh, let's see, HP device manager built in, calculator of course. Uh, import wizard for Kmail. Again, that works well. I installed Spectacle for um, screen grab, screenshot, but uh, the built in screenshot uh, app is, is also very good. Let's see, what did I miss here under system? So under system, you're going to have print settings, software update, task manager, file manager, uh, Manjaro welcome screen. We'll pop that open. So you have documentation, uh, the support here with the forums and the chat rooms. Great forums here. You see a lot of activity. And then under project, you can uh, build out Manjaro uh, with various packages. So um, you know, nicely done. And again, you see here, 1601.06.01 Daniela. So we'll close that. I also want to, what stood out to me was the Thonar file manager. Um, let's go in here and shrink that down a little. But, um, you know, I'm very impressed with the default file manager inside of KDE Plasma 5. Um, the default file manager for GNOME doesn't do anything for me. I mean, it's fine. It does the does the job. Uh, this is kind of like a an, an in between, I guess. Um, you've got options in here to launch uh, Thunar root, which is a really nice feature to have built into the file manager. Uh, you can go in and configure um, your file view, a side pane. Uh, behavior so you could change to single click to activate um, so you know plenty of options here but default I was impressed with a few things uh, from default so I'm gonna right click on this folder and this was a little pet peeve of mine in, in other file managers you have two options here by default move to trash or delete you can also add that to NSYNC or go right into root. So um, nice that that's set up that way. And then you have default search in your right click menu as well. Um, or you could go right into terminal, zoom in, zoom out. So, um, you know, well done for the most part and, and um, perfectly good usable file manager. And again, very fast. I just want to, I can't stress that. I mean, that's instant. Uh, really impressive. Uh, it could be something to do with the how light um, XFCE is, or, it, uh, you know, it could be that the Arch-based systems are just inherently faster. Um, but, but whatever is causing the speed, the combination of things causing the speed, you really notice it. Um, so I'm going to end this here. I, I just want to. I just want to say that more than likely I will run this for a number of days and really put it through the paces. And um, you know, if it's as stable as it seems like it will be, um, who knows? I may stick with this. But if you see another video in a week or two with a KDE distribution. Um, you know, like a KDE Neom loaded again, you'll know I've gone back. Uh, I know that Manjaro is putting a lot of effort into KDE 5 Plasma. 
So, uh, you know, maybe give that a try, but gosh, I'm really impressed here. So that's it for now. Hope this helps. Wasn't expecting to release this uh, video this evening, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Have a good one.